You probably wonder, how do you animate something like this? Or do you just love cavalry? Today I'm going to show you in under 5 minutes. To start off, add some text. Now we can align this on both axes by pressing these two buttons. This and this. Next, deselect the text and let's add our line. This can also be a shape, which I'm going to show you later. I'm going to use the freehand tool. Increase the stability radius if you want a more smooth line, like I have here. To edit your line, you can go ahead and press on this button right here. And go ahead and make the changes. Now, next... We can select this and then move it a bit down. Once you're done with your shape, you can go ahead and select the text again. And for this purpose, I'm going to change it to move text along path. Now, once you're done, you're going to go ahead and scroll down to text path. Now we can drag our shape, our line, down to this. And now we have our text that's wrapping around our line. By using the path travel, we can make it move along the line. The problem is that the text is inside our line. You can use the path push for that. Just change it to be above zero to go outside of the line and vice versa. Now we can actually also animate this. For this purpose, I'm going to go ahead and move our path travel all the way to the left outside of our frame, like so. Now we can add a keyframe by pressing this. And then we can now go ahead and go, let's say, to frame 60. And this is where we want our last keyframe. Here we can just change our path travel to be all the way to the other side. And this automatically adds another keyframe. Now you can see it's animated. However, it looks quite boring and linear. So let's go ahead and go back and select both our keyframes and then go into the graph editor. Now we can scroll out a bit and then by right clicking, you can select key interpolation and then Bezier. Now we can, by holding shift and pulling this, we can go ahead and get a more smooth and interesting animation like so. Now for this purpose I actually want this text to stop before it goes outside of the frame. So I'm gonna go ahead and select my last frame and change the path travel to be something like 38%. Like so. If you don't want to see the line, you can also just uh, disable the visibility here and the animation will still work. Now, if you have, a, for example, a shape you want to move your text along, you can drag your shape in, but you will see that there is a problem. We can see that the text doesn't go around our circle like we want. To fix this, we're going to check path loop because a circle is a loop and now it works.